Do you know this great feeling when you create something in mid-journey that you absolutely love and that just looks amazing? And then a couple of dozen or a couple of hundred pictures later, you want to create something similar, but you don't quite remember the exact prompt? Well, you can forget about that and potentially save hours and hours of time by using the prefer option set command. Okay, let's say we create something beautiful that we just love. Let's say a vibrant green spring flower meadow with a wide mountain range in the background during golden hour. All right, now we just wait a couple of moments. I'll speed that up. Okay, perfect. And let's say you just love that spring flower meadow with a white mountain range and you want to keep it for the future to use it with different characters and different settings with different moods. This is where the prefer option set command comes in handy. So you just type slash prefer option option set and now you need to give that option a name so you can find it again so let's call that spring meadow now the very important thing is that you click out of here where you see plus one more you click on that and then you can click on value on top and can set your value now in here you just copy the command that you want so let's copy our spring flower meadow and paste it in there. Now you just click enter and as you can see, custom option spring meadow set to our prompt that we just used. And what you can do now is you can just type imagine and then you type dash dash spring meadow and you get the exact prompt that we just pasted in. So let me speed that up again. And there we have our beautiful spring meadow. And as you can see on top, it used the exact command that we set as our preferred option. And what you can do with that now is you can set different backgrounds, different vibes, different moods, different characters, and combine and create them really, really fast. All right, let's test it and show you what I mean. So let's create a character, let's say, a cute badger with an iron helmet and sunglasses. And of course you can create way more complex sceneries and characters. But let's look at our badger for now. Alright, pretty cute. Well, it's not exactly what I imagined, but it's good enough for now to show you what you can do with that. So let's set a preferred option again, preferred option set, and let's call the badger Bob. Bob the badger. And now we click outside again, here on top on value, and then we just copy the prompt that we want to have in there and paste it in. And our custom option is set to Bob our badger. And what we can do now very easily is, oh, by the way, when you want to make something realistic, just type photo of in front. So we make a photo of dash dash Bob on a dash dash spring meadow. And let's say with an aspect ratio of 16 by nine, which by the way, you can also put in the preferred option if you want to. And there we go, Bob our badger on our spring meadow. And I think I love the top right one. Oh, the top left one is also very, very good. Well, it's not exactly with an iron helmet and sunglasses, but it's still extremely cute. All right, another important thing is when you get tired of a preferred option or you want to change something up, then you type prefer option set again, and then you just type in the name of the option that you want to change. So let's say spring meadow, and then you just hit enter without clicking on the field here, just hitting enter. And as you can see, Cosmo from Spring Meadow is now removed. All right, but since I want to keep it, let me actually put it in again. And then after we have done that, let's put Bob in a few different sceneries. So we just type our imagine photo off so it's realistic and then dash dash Bob and wherever we want to have them. So let's say during dash dash sunrise, 
which is a prefer option that I use for myself quite sometimes. And let's try a couple of more. And there we have Bob in a matter of seconds at a beautiful spring sunrise, in a sinister forest, and in an urban environment. And if you have a few different characters, environments or moods, you can just go through them in a matter of seconds till you find something that you absolutely love. So let's try Sarah in a few different environments and see what that looks like. And here we have her doing sunrise, in a forest, in a city environment, and with our spring meadow. And of course you can compose and put together all kinds of different images and set prefer options. So let's try photo of Kolya in an urban environment and let's make it dramatic. And then let's try the exact same thing. Photo of Kolya in an urban environment. And this time let's make it lighthearted and see the difference. And here we have drama and lightheartedness with the same character and the same setting, but two different moods. As you can see, this command allows you to save a lot of time by going through a multitude of backgrounds, sceneries, feelings, moods and characters in a matter of seconds. I actually learned how to use this properly from the channel Glibber Tree, I think it's called. I'll leave a link to his video down below in the description, so you can check that out as well. He has great explanations and also different custom options that he created that you can use for yourself. While this makes it a lot easier to create things and especially sceneries very fast, you still need to rework quite a bit to get consistent characters. It's a little bit of its own science when it comes to mid-journey. I'll talk about that in the next video and you can check it out right over here.